been firstly welcome to Bears. Um, must be a very exciting time ahead for you. Yeah, very much. Um, like I've said before, it, it's been ambition for a while to, to come over and play county cricket in the UK. And yeah, to be able to join a club like Warwickshire, uh, be, I've, so I've remembered thinking about Warwickshire for a while because I know Alan Donald uh, used to play in, in Birmingham as well. So, I mean, there's already that South African connection uh, from following cricket way back then. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, you, you mentioned AD there. There is quite a connection between the Bears and, and South Africa. I mean, we have Anton Ferreira, AD, Sean Pollock, Brian McMillan. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great, a, an illustrious list that you're joining there. Yeah, and I was just saying, uh, I think uh, Neil Carter played, played at Warwickshire as well for quite a while. And we've actually been training uh, at his, he's at Bishops now in Cape Town. So I see him quite often during the off season. So he actually sent me a message as well and said all the best. And it's a great club to go to. So only heard good things so far. Absolutely. It's been quite a journey for you. I mean, I mean from in the game, you made your first class debut around 14 years ago now. And then your test debut um, last year as well. And now you're coming over to, to county cricket for, for 2021. A real journey in the game that you, you're having. Yeah, very much so. I mean, it's sort of, it's a tale of two careers for me almost, where I went, got everything pretty easy up until the age of about 23. And then uh, cricket came back and taught me some hard lessons and uh, sort of reaping the rewards from that now, sort of in the later part of my career. And do you feel you're playing the best cricket of your career now? Yeah, definitely. I think I'm, I'm as fit as I've ever been um, in terms of experience and sort of all the lessons and, and game plans and knowing my technique as a batsman to play your best sort of in your early 30s uh, most batsmen do so yeah it's definitely feeling good at the moment i take it you've still very much got international ambitions as well that it, this could sort of be a bit of a platform for you yeah possibly i mean it's there's been discussions where um the people at cricket south africa are happy for me to come over and play county cricket and i mean you you never know cricket's a funny game anything can happen but my focus is firmly on the on the county on the county season that's coming up. You've got a good record across all three forms of it, Peter, but would you say it's in first class where you feel much better? Um, yeah, sort of first class cricket's sort of the one that's that's been getting more attention recently. Um, when I was younger, the white ball stuff was more probably the stronger part of my game. So I feel I can contribute across across all formats when necessary, but at the moment it's probably uh, the red ball game that's that's probably in the best shape. And you, you've played in England previously, I um, Yeah, I've, I've played club cricket in England for six seasons, I think from 2011 to 2016. Um, so I played around the Manchester area in the Lancashire League, which was a very good competition. Um, and then played two years in Northern Ireland as well, just outside of Belfast. So it's, I've always enjoyed my time in the UK and looking forward to coming back there again. So that Lancashire League and um, in Northern Ireland, Put you in a great position for the, uh, the early A uh, pitches that we got on in the championship as well. Yeah, and that could potentially. I mean, there's, there's at least some experience for me to draw on. Um, but um, at the best of times, I, I like to graft and sort of give myself the best chance. And on those wickets, that's sometimes what it takes, is just to, to stick in and spend some time in the middle. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see when I, when I get there.